In this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to get started with VidCreator FX. Now, to create a new video, all you have to do is go to New and give your project a name. And then you can choose to manually create a video or to have the software automatically create one. And in fact, it can create up to 100 videos. But for right now, I'm going to choose the manual video option. Then what we want to do is enter any keywords that we have to, um, that we want our, so our uh, video to be about. And then we can enter uh, any number of images or video clips that VidCreator will go out and pull in to uh, help us create our video. Now it's going to pull from things like uh, Google Images, Instagram, Flickr, Pixabay, Vine, and more, uh, and give them all proper attribution rights whenever we create our video, all the different clips. Okay, so now we're ready to create our video. And what you can see down here is all the clips and all the different videos that VidCurator FX has found. And what we can do here is click uh, the thumbnail, or we can see it up here. And then we can browse and also check out the different images that it found. And if we don't like an image, for example, what we can do is hit this download image button and it will find another image for us. And if we don't like the order of them, we can also uh, go ahead and rearrange them like that. And we can also import our own clips here by clicking the plus button and upload any videos or images that we have that we want to incorporate in the video. And also there's some cool things like filters that we can apply to the different images uh, to give it a cool effect. And then we can uh, adjust the time of each slide here uh, with this option as well so we know how long we want each slide to go. Then we can add uh, intro or outro slides. First, we want to click on it and then enable it. And then we can select a background image if we want. And I'm just going to go here and click on it. And then give it a title. And then we can uh, center this put have at, or have it at the top or bottom. Then we can also add some music. Now we have a lot of uh, commercial rights music tracks in here. You can also record your own voiceover or you can import a music track or your voiceover as well to add. Now we have a lot of transitions. All you have to do is drag and drop and transition to the clip here. And if uh, in your testing it doesn't look like it's uh, quite right, well inside the builder, well don't worry because it will work fine on the final rendered version. Then we have the basic settings for each clip that's not an intro or outro slide. And what you want to do here is, um, for example, in this case, this is more like a local business video. We want to have like a call to action to uh, uh, insert into the video for all the slides. So something like that. And then we're going to give it, uh, make it bigger here. We can make it see through, change the text. And what it will do is it will show up on all these different slides here and the videos as well. And you might be wondering, well, you know, why do you have the same text on every slide? Well, the point of this is to force users to actually have to create the video quickly and finally get something that they've made out there. Now, this isn't so much for sales videos as it is the ability to cut through the noise and share multiple videos in rich media every day on say Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, etc., multiple times a day, instead of uh, wasting months on making one particular explainer video. Because what we found is, um, although there's some fancy video animation tools with the cute characters and stuff, uh, people are having some trouble getting these tools to actually send any traffic at all, and actually having trouble even getting a video out there in the first place on their social accounts. And if you follow the advice of you know some uh, big social media gurus like Grant Cardone, for example, well, you know they're really posting like 50 times per day on their uh, channels. So after we have our video, uh, how we like it, what we want to do is go to export, and then we can choose the size option, and uh, choose the quality as well, and then hit start export video. So if we were to choose the auto video option, that looks a bit different. And let's hit create project. And what this will do is it will allow VidCurator FX to create the videos automatically for you. So what we want to do here is enter uh, our keyword, for example, our text, and then fill out all the information for step one and step two. 
Then we can select to create one or 10 or even up to a hundred videos all at once, all automatically. And then what we want to do is uh, after we're done filling out all um, the options that we want, just hit create video and it will create a hundred videos ready to upload to our accounts. Then when we're ready to upload the video to our accounts, all we have to do is select the one that we want and then click upload. And then what we want to do is uh, choose what accounts we want to submit this to, whether it's um, our YouTube or Vimeo account that we have, which the front end version can do, or the pro version can also let us upload it to Instagram, Snapchat, Vine, and other mobile video sharing sites um, because of a video Dropbox integration that we have for the pro version. Then what we want to do is enter our title, description, and any keywords we want, and then upload. And then if you have the pro version, what this will do is it can spin the title and description so that there's unique titles and unique descriptions for every video that gets uploaded. And that's how easy it is to get started and use VidCurator FX.